King Bob and I Hey, 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 everybody, it's Keener Family Gaming, and we are back at you with another Minions Spoilers review. This time, you get to listen to all the bells and whistles and all the funny stuff that happened in the movie, and what we really, really think about it, our favorite parts, and what we would maybe like to see differently in the movie, if there was anything. All right, go ahead and take it away. What was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, I kind of like when uh, the, the Minions, they were trying to find a master the whole time. They just were trying and trying, and then they found this cave, and they made it their home, and then they lived there, and they were just getting bored after so long, and then the three main characters decided that they were going to go out and find a master, and then that set us on the journey to find our master in the whole movie, yes. and I thought that was kind of cool how they just decided to get ambitious and get up and just go. And stand up, yep, not to just lay down and just take it. Be bored. Yeah. They actually, somebody stood up and was like, I'm going to save our colony. Kevin, our Bob, world. and Stuart. Kevin, Kevin, Bob, King Bob. King Bob. For um, president. <laughs> um, what was your favorite part? King Bob, he, when he did a speech, um, the, one of the main things he said was, King Bob. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. There's, there's, we'll lay this out for you. There's a spot, uh, a part of the movie, where Bob, he's like the, he's like, was he the, you know, he's, he's a the littlest one. one. He was the littlest one. He was the most ambitious one. Yeah. And he got these um, stretch arms, a stretch suit from, uh, what was his name? Uh, the, the one of the name? bad guys. Kurt or something like Bert, that? Bert, Bert. No. Kurt. Yeah. Kurt. 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 Kurt or Bert, something Bert. like that. Bert. Bert. All right, so he got the stretch suit, and they were supposed to go steal the Queen's helmet. That was kind of, or the Queen's, crown. Queen's crown. That was kind of what the whole objective of the movie was for, uh, so that they could become uh, the evil minions for Scarlet, who was a main villain that was in the movie. And they got, and, and Bob got these stretchy, the stretch suit, and they were helping, well, actually, they are kind of sabotaging the Queen, uh, kidnapping and, um, her. And also, like, in, while they were doing it, um, people were basically, like when they got the crown, or when they were getting the crown, a bunch of police were showing up and all that stuff. Then, um, Bob turned into king by getting Excalibur out of the out of sorcerer's the, yep. stone. Out, out of, of the sorcerer's stone. stone, yep. And he, he became and, king Bob. And he, and he scared all the people away. And, and so for the coronation, speech. yep, he had to give a big speech. <laughs> and nobody could understand what he said. Yeah, yeah except for King Bob! King and everybody Bob. was going pretty good. It, was, it, it went like this, it went like this. It went, blah, 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 King Bob! And everybody went crazy. Blah, 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 blah. And everybody's just silent, kind of like you guys are watching right now. <laughs> King Bob! And then everybody, everybody went crazy. Cheered. That was really, really That's cool. the only thing they could understand. That was the funny part. My favorite part was when... Uh, I think it was Bob again, or no, no, Bob didn't have have the uh, glasses. It was no. Stu. It was Stuart. Stuart. Yeah. Stuart. Stuart had this this uh this this hypnotizing hat. a gel hypnotizing hat. gel hat. Yeah, it kind of looks like a big slime that was on his head. That's the best way to describe it. And um, this gel hat, the, the the slime hat, could hypnotize people. And he hypnotized these fat guards when they were trying to get uh, the queen's. Uh, crown. No, the, the, yeah, they were yeah. trying to get the queen's crown. Yeah, the minions were trying to get the queen's crown. And the, the guard fat came guards in. came in and he hypnotized them and he made them dance and sing and take off their clothes and they sang the hair song. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that funny. was great. There's a lot of funny moments, too many that I can't even mention them all in this review. Um, we definitely say go see it. Go see yeah. it. Um, There's a lot of Don't funny wait parts. for it. If you really want a good time with your family and you wanna and you wanna spend a good quality time and everybody in the family is gonna actually laugh at this movie, this is definitely one that you wanna go see. Don't yeah. waste your time by not going to see it because you're really missing out on a fantastic movie. Especially the 3D effects were great in it. We went and seen that one in 3D. Yeah. Everything it's, was good. And like you can't you can't go out without laughing. Because no I mean it's so funny at so many odd. Parts that I mean, 
then at the end it showed how they met Gru, and that was really cute. Yeah. How they tied it to at like the end, yeah. Future. At the end, they met Gru, and um, yep, yeah, it was tied to what has happened in the previous Despicable Me movies, and that is that's great. I loved how we got the Minions origin story, and we and we got to laugh the whole way, even though you couldn't understand hardly any of the words that the Minions said. Some of the said. words they said. Some of the words. They, they, they spoke said, Spanish yep. or... or or in their own minion language, but it all made sense yeah, for that they, matter. Because they kind of talked, they kind of talked in English. At and times. the body language yeah, made you know. and body language made total sense, and I guarantee you, you'll laugh your head off of this movie. It was good from start to finish. We didn't have not have one moment in the movie where we wanted to get up, where we said, "Oh, we're stopping our show. I'm gonna. This is a snooze fest. We're gonna fall asleep." Not one time. No. But that's it, guys. What do you guys? What was your favorite part of the Minions movie? If you watched it, let us know who was your favorite Minion. Did you like Kevin, Stuart, or Bob? Like that's Bob. what I want to know. I liked. I liked Kevin. I liked. Which one was I the one that yeah. rocked out at the end? That was another favorite. Oh, part. That was that, that was, was Stuart. Stuart. That was Stuart. That was Stuart was, was the I rock star. Stuart. <laughs> he got a guitar and Kevin. he started rocking out. <laughs> Ke Kevin had like this, uh, I guess, kind of a sneaky sense of humor at times, and it was great. Every minion had its own role and own sense of humor, and it was great, guys. Definitely go see this movie. And he was kind of like the caretaker. He caretaker. He would always wipe Bob's face. Yep. A little yeah. bit. There was yeah, little emotional bit. moments, yeah, kind of. But that's it, guys. What did you guys think of the movie? Did you think it was a, a pass or, or did you think it was a go-see? We think it's a go-see by yes, all of us. Definitely. And that's it. One of the best and funniest movies we've seen in quite some time. That's it, though, guys. If you want more movie reviews, make sure that you slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe. Peace out and bedizzle. And we'll see you all in the next video.